Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This specific one is an ASUS X, I mean ASUS X441N and this video applies for any X400 series. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and see if we can upgrade the RAM on this one. Because many people keep asking me and uh, why can't you upgrade the RAM and if is it possible upgrading the RAM, yes or no. So in this video, let's walk it through and let's see what happens. First thing first, you want to flip it over and you want to remove all the bottom screws at the bottom cover. Just keep in mind that the front end screws, which is this one over here, that one, that one, and this one. There are four screws in the front row. These are a little bit, tiny bit, about one or two millimeters shorter than the rest of the screws inside the laptop. To remove the screws, you need an opening tool. I use the iFixit screwdriver set. These are really nice screwdriver bits that they have here for everything. We're going to be using Phillips number zero. And now what we want to do, we want to start removing all the screws. Let's go ahead and remove the short screws. I attach a magnet here sometimes to be able to lift up the screws. So once we remove, remove the short ones, we're going to remove the rest of the screws. These are all the same size. So don't worry about mismatching these screws. Once you remove all the screws down here, what you need to do, you need to lift up your laptop and hold it in this position. And you want to grab yourself an opening tool. I use the, I use a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. They are really soft corner edges. It's really hard to scratch plastic and really, really tough and perfectly made for opening products or plastics or whatever you want. And what you want to do in this case, you want to stick the guitar pick somehow find a way to stick it between the top and the bottom cover All right just like that you want to stick it about two or three millimeters inward and you want to just twist it and you're going to hear some clicks you want to do this all around just do it all the way to the side go all the way to the back corners and now you want to do the other side that's my left, I don't know if it's your right, maybe. Open up the screen a little bit, and there. Once you got it in this position, now you can open up the screen 45 degrees. You don't want to yank this palm rest, you just want to open it up a little bit, just like that. Because there's a two flex cables that we need to remove here. These two flex cables are keyboard and the touchpad. They have a little black tape here, so remove this black tape over and remove the other black tape that is on the other one. Now, let me see if it's gonna focus. We're gonna lift up this cover, so lift up 90 degrees, this white one, just underneath, it comes up. And now you can slide out the flex cable. Same thing for the keyboard, 90 degrees from the back, it comes up 90 degrees, and then slide out the connector all right now we can go ahead and lift up the cover right here and there's a keyboard and the palm rest right there now down here first thing first we're gonna see the hard drive the dvd rom and the wi-fi board the battery and the motherboard i don't see any ram anything like that so let's go ahead and disconnect this fan cable right here so pull up this jack and now let's remove this isolation And guess what the RAM is right over here this is one RAM soldered on the board and there's no more RAMs here now let's hope that there is another RAM dim on the other side so let's go ahead and lift up the motherboard and see what we got in the other side before we lift up the motherboard we have to disconnect the battery to disconnect the battery let's go ahead and remove this screw right in the corner to remove the battery, there's an adhesive tape at the back of the battery. You want to stick some metal screwdriver or something flat right at the back. And you want to break that seal. 
once you got it in that position you want to grab it don't let it go now you want to scoop it out from this connector just lift it up and twist it and wiggle it around and it will come out pretty easy get that adhesive tape right there and stays right in there once we remove the battery we need to remove the speaker so pull this cable out the jack that's the speaker we need to remove the wi-fi board uh, and just the cable just pull up this cable from the side it's slowly remove the screw that holds the wi-fi board remove the screw for the fan remove the screw that holds this side of the fan now the fan is going to be there but now we can slide out the cd ROM right there and the fan should come out just like that remember the fan is under the wi-fi board remove the fan and if you want go ahead and clean it we're going to remove this flex cable between the main board and the expansion board just by lifting up this black cover and sliding out the flex we're going to remove this uh, ribbon for the lcd by removing the tape right here and pull it over and now slide out the connector evenly make sure you slide out evenly now we're going to stick it right towards the now let's remove the screws there's a one, two, two, and three screws on the motherboard. They have a little white arrow label beside it. Now we also need to remove the hinge, these two screws. Okay, once we remove this hinge, we can pull this hinge upward to the side. Go ahead and lift up the motherboard. You can remove this one if you want, just slide it out. And let's flip it over and guess what the other ram is soldered on the board too exactly right on the other side so as you guys say it is hopeless to upgrade the ram on these versions the ram is not upgradable so if you guys keep asking and here is the solution and here's the view of the board the rams are soldered on the board there is no RAM dim, RAM slot or anything like that available here. Alright. Now to put it back down again, slide down the I.O. side. Grab the Wi-Fi board. Plug it in in 45 degree angle. Put it there. Once for all, just put the Wi-Fi cable, just snap it on top. Okay. Now bring the hinge over, put it in place, put the two screws for the hinge, put the three screws for the motherboard, oh, and also pull this flex cable out, over, put the screw for the Wi-Fi board, well before we put the screw for the Wi-Fi, put the fan, the fan has to go underneath. Put the screw for the Wi-Fi. Put the other two screws for it. Slide down the DVD ROM. Put the screw for the DVD ROM. Grab the flex cable for the LCD and slide it in from the back evenly. Make sure you slide it nicely. And you, you bring it all the way inward. Plug in the cable for the speakers. Grab your battery. You want to scoop down your battery underneath this contact first. Make sure it goes right underneath. You might want to help it out, lift up from one corner a little bit. You can put the battery before you put the motherboard too, but yeah. Now you want it once you've got a little bit inside there the hinge now you want to push it down and scoop it inward and the battery will go in pretty easy and put the screw for the battery which we removed from the corner 
And now we're gonna connect the expansion board to the motherboard. Slide down the flex cable all the way in and close the lock. Put the isolation sheet on the top. This cable has to go over. And now connect the fan cable right there. And pretty much we are set. Now run the cable for the Wi-Fi, make sure it's not pinching or getting on, on the way. And the next thing would be grabbing the top cover, bringing in 45 degree angle. And in this position, what you want to do, you want to slide it from the back end towards the jack evenly. Make sure it goes all the way in evenly and close the lid. Same thing for this connector. Make sure you bring it over evenly and close it. And now you can put the tape back on if you want to. Now what you want to do, you want to pinch the corner, the side, all the plastic right here. And the corner back. Now the last part will be putting the back down the screws. Remember the short screws in the front and the rest goes on the rest of the laptop. I hope you guys like this video and I actually showed you guys what you've been asking to see the board and if it's possible to upgrade the RAM and as we see it's not upgradable. And if you have any more questions or requests, leave them in the comment area. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And again, I appreciate if you guys click that thumbs up button and if you guys subscribe, it really motivates and helps me a lot. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.